Yesterday I went to Lowe's and picked up a whole bunch of lumber. I've got some more projects to do for our goats. But first, let's let the baby chickens out. Good morning, chickens. How are you doing? Looks like you got plenty of food and your water looks okay over there. The chickens really haven't fully explored this whole area we've set aside for them yet. Mostly they just like hanging out underneath that little coop. But as they get bigger, I'm sure they'll spread out a little more. It wasn't too long that we let the goats out to have free range in their enclosed pen in here. Are you goats ready for freedom? Freedom! Yourselves out. Yeah, Pretty laid back. Clyde and Finnick are kind of challenging each other, and Stryker is too busy scratching his horns. Come here. Look, yeah. What do you think? Now you can sniff each other. Both the boys and the girls have been really rough on their shelters. 
The boys have been headbutting right here from the inside and it's actually completely torn the metal sheeting here. Really, it's only a matter of time before they could bust through. And all the sides are similar with uh, you know, the thickness of the metal and, and the construction. So all that plywood I got is going to line the inside of their shelter. The girls have been really rough on these gates in particular. We had Indigo locked up in here for a while and Finnick was over here before we could move him over with the boys. Indigo really didn't like being cooped up so much. And she was able to bust out completely a big hole in this hardware cloth. Obviously this material has proven to be really not strong enough for our goats. But that's not the only problem. They've been putting so much stress on these gates that this latch has started to bend and it's really very difficult to relatch. It's obviously pulled way out away from where the post is here. It's just not holding up the way I had hoped it would. I'm going to have to eventually rethink how I've done all of this for an immediate fix. I don't know, maybe it'll be a permanent fix. What I'm going to do is put sliding 2x4s into slots that go completely across the gates. So it'll be reinforced from them being able to push this thing so much. I'll also put a 2x4 block on the side here so when it's closed it stays exactly where it's going to be and they can't push it in from this side either. The last thing I'm going to do is build some benches for the goats. It would be nice for them to get up off the ground. They like climbing on things. It's a pretty easy project and Wendy asked me to do it, so I'm happy to do it. One of the tricks is to keep the goats from getting too much in my way. Good luck with that. just pulling some of the plywood in. Some of the plywood sheets I'm going to need to cut and I'm going to have to do that back over to a tractor barn. Clyde. Just be a good goat. 
This is kind of ridiculous. A good way to show what the damage that goats can do over time. These nails are being pulled out. The whole wall is being pushed that way. Come on, Clyde. Out. Out. No. Come on. Out. No. None of that. Okay, where the heck is it? All right, I've banged this thing back into position. I have closed the gate so the goats can leave me alone. Isn't that right? My original plan had been to shim up these plywood sheets so the top edge could hit a 2x4 and the bottom edge could hit this 2x6. But the location of those supports are different. Quiet. What are you doing? Go eat something. Go play with the other goats. Go play with the other goats. Yeah. Okay, my original plan had been to do that shimming, but the supports are different on all of these walls, so I think I'm just going to keep them at ground level and We'll at least be able to hit two of the 2x4s with rows of screws. I think that'll be sufficient. This was probably one of the most predictable goat damage situations that we had around here. 
The gutter was on the outside. The goats were always going to have access to it. And this is the inevitable result.
This video is already long enough, so reinforcing those gates and building the benches for our goats will just have to wait for another video. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.